and I promise I will try my level best to be as civilized as I possibly can. I know today's topic is important for a lot of people. Um, it's about finances, it's about uh, part-time jobs uh, when you come here as a student, but it's not important more than my country. So if you're someone who is not from India, yesterday on 14th Feb afternoon is a massive terrorist attack which took place in Pulwama, which is in the state of Jammu and Kashmir. See, I'm not here to tell you guys that go and destroy someone or hate someone, but everything has a limit what I feel. Everything has a limit what I feel. If it has a limit, if it has a limit, then it has a lot of replies. And I believe that the defense machinery of India is very important. They know what to do at which time. There will be a lot of pressure on them. लोग बहुत एजुटेटेड हैं जो हुआ है, obviously बहुत ही ज़्यादा गलत हुआ है, but I have full faith into the system और तो मैं कुछ कमेंट नहीं करना चाहूँगा। कल मैंने ना इंस्टाग्राम पे एक स्टोरी डाला था कि बताता हूँ मैं। ये स्टोरी डाला था मैंने कल, घर में घुस के मारेंगे अब। पापा आ रहे हैं, तैयार रहना। इतना पारा गर्म है ना मेरा भी और सोच सोच के सर फट रहा है तो कल मेरे को ना कुछ इंटरेस्टिंग रिप्लाई आया लोगों के पास से मैं तुम लोगों को दिखाना चाहता हूँ ये एक्चुअली मैं सही बताऊँ तुम लोगों को दिखा नहीं रहा हूँ मैं इस बंदी को रिप्लाई कर रहा हूँ इस स्टोरी के बाद है ना मेरे को कम से कम आठ दस मैसेजेस आए ऑब्वियसली यार गाली दे रहे थे मेरे को कि तू खुद को समझता क्या है ये नहीं वो नहीं ये नहीं वो मैं दो जन का मैसेज दिखाऊंगा तुम लोग को पहले तो पहला तो ये बंदा है इसका नाम है ओ एस उल हक भाई मेरे को गाली दे रहा है दूसरा बंदा दिखाता हूँ ये तो उससे भी इंटरेस्टिंग है ये जो दूसरा बंदा है इसका माइंडसेट देखना जरा ठीक है और इसके जैसे लोग कितने होंगे इसका नाम है स्टैन ये इसकी इंस्टाग्राम आईडी है वो तुम लोग डिसाइड करना कि इस, इस सोच क्या है इसने मेरी स्टोरी पे रिप्लाई किया घर में घुस के तो हमारी आर्मी ने मारा था और हमारे पास प्रूफ भी है मुंबई अटैक्स भूल गए हो पठानकोट भूल गए हो तुम्हारे पास कोई प्रूफ है क्वेश्चन मार्क एस आर एफ मूवीज स्पेलिंग तो सीख लेता ढंग से एस आर के बोलना चाहता है शायद से तू लॉल मूवीज के अंदर ही मार सकते हो बस लिल किडी गो इन नो फैक्ट्स अपनी आर्मी को खाना खिला लो पहले अबे तेरे से ना झंड छत्तीस आके गए समझा कभी बाहर आएगा ना अपना देश छोड़ के औकात दिखा देंगे तेरे को लोग तेरी क्या है आई कैन ओनली प्रे फॉर द लॉसेस फैमिली की जो हालत है हम हम लोग कोई इमेजिन भी नहीं कर सकते हैं आई होप हमारा जो सिस्टम है हमारा जो गवर्नमेंट है हमारी जो स्टेट गवर्नमेंट है ये हेल्प करे फैमिलीज को जो उनके लॉसेस हुए हैं उनको फाइनेंशियली मॉरली जो भी हो सकता है जस्ट सो यू गाइज आर अवेयर ऑफ यहाँ पर हर किसी में गंदा वाला गुस्सा हुआ है भरा पड़ा है या लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो Before I get into today's video, just want to let you know if you're somebody who is new to my channel, I have a Facebook group for studying in Germany and studying in France. You can just go ahead and be part of either of the groups wherever you want to study. What's up, beating girls? Welcome back to my channel once again. If you're new here, consider subscribing because I feel that my goal is to bring in the most delicious thinking and enhance your intellectual skill velocity. Let's start today's day. Now, we all know if you want to study in a public university, then there is no tuition fees, but you still got to pay your bills, which is your living expense. But if someone who's studying in a private university, doing MBA or a business study where there is a tuition fees somewhere between 15,000 to 20,000 euros so the question which came to me last week was hey can I make enough money to be able to pay my next semester's tuition fees short answer is no you don't make enough money to be able to pay your tuition fees here but you will make enough to pay your living expense here I can assure you for that I will give you some calculations we're gonna do right here in this video we're gonna do some calculation these are just an estimation which you will be earning within the first year and how that year is divided so I may be confusing you right now but don't worry uh, stick till the last I'm gonna give you more clarity on this as soon as there's Sun everybody is out of the house and that's a good sign at least people get to smile and shine I'm gonna be discussing this topic let's go home because I don't want you guys to be distracted by anything all right guys so let's begin with the first question what documents you should have if you want to go and do part-time job for some company or a restaurant or any kind of job they would ask you for a few things number one is your in Meldum where is your address uh, registered where are you staying second they would ask you for your tax ID number third thing they would ask you for your social security number these two things can only be acquired once you have in Meldum done it is the important document if you really want to start your life as soon as you arrive in Germany the good part about all this thing is you do not need to pay any money to get all these things done you simply have to go to the local authorities Google it simply wherever whichever city you are gonna be staying so going forward from here on since we know which documents you should have there are two types of part-time jobs what I've seen and I've done that 
is mini job which could be your weekend job which could be your twice a week job which could be once a week job and the other is part-time job which is more or less like a 20 hour job so focusing on these two things mini job means you get paid until 450 euros or less if you have a part-time job means you have to pay taxes you fall in student tax bracket anyway what is important for you to know is am i doing a mini job or is there a possibility of doing a mini job somewhere or should i take up a part-time job which is more or less like 20 hours a lot of you will also have this question of how many hours can we work in germany while we are a student in fact same logic and law applies in france also so you can work for 20 hours per week it's up to you and employers to decide whether you want to do divide four hours four hours four hours for next five days or do you want to divide eight hours eight hours and then the rest of the hours so it totally depends on the kind of job which you're doing and the agreement which you have between you and employer and to have this validation of 20 hours which is provided to you particularly or not is they will look into your visa it should be written and it will be written actually like you're allowed to do 120 full days 240 half days it will be written on the visa so i've already done some calculation on this piece of paper i'm going to walk you through have some attention please yeah imagine that akshay has got admission in winter intake which is october akshay has also got an entry visa only for three months into germany so october november december that means before december he will have to go to Auslander Behore and get his visa renewed so that he can get a long-term visa. Akshay came here with a blocked account with 8,640 euro per year. If you divide that, it comes around uh, 720 euro per month. I should have written this uh, on top, but it came to my mind a little later. Going forward from here on, let's say Akshay doesn't have enough money for next year's blocked account. He didn't get bank loan, for example. Pe people do take bank loans for blocked account also, in fact, for straight two years. But Akshay is not in a position to get a blocked account done for second year. Then the only option what he's left is as soon as he comes the first year, he is safe because he has come here with a blocked account in that period he has to make enough money so that he can carry forward that money to next year let me explain you better now first year akshay has 12 months in his hand so as soon as anybody who arrives in this country they just can't just start their part-time job just like that they need at least one or two months to settle down and get all their paperwork done get the accommodation done let's say out of those one year which is 12 months you give two months to settle down here with all your paperwork mentally and everything now you're left with 10 more months in your hand before that year ends now in the same year you have two semesters so in germany there are a total of four semesters because you're studying masters let's say when i say two semesters two times you have to give exams in a year and if that exam goes on for one one month uh let's say one month in summer one month in winter that means out of those 10 months previously you're left with eight months in your hand even from that eight months let's say you decide to within the first year you decide to go back home for a vacation because you already gave one of the semester exams and you have a break now and you you know you feel like going home and miss you're missing your family so out of those eight months your one month is gone for vacation and now you're left with seven months in your hand worst case scenario let's minus one more month for some reason you don't know there's a lot of uncertainty on the way now this is where i've written Average you're left with six months in your hand to go and do part-time job and make some money so that you're prepared for next year. I really hope I'm not confusing you. Moving forward, let's say Akshay has got a job in one of the restaurant or a bar and he's doing a waiter job there and that job it gives him nine euro for an hour by law he's allowed to work 20 hours per week that means 20 multiplied by 9 is 180 euros that's what he makes a week after working 20 hours and if you multiply 180 times 4 which comes up to 720 now the 720 is before tax after deduction of tax it's not much on students on an average what i can expect him to get in his hand would be 650 to 680 euros that's what he's making by the end of the month after working for 20 hours per week so stay with me let's move forward now let's say worst case scenario he gets paid around 650 euros after tax in his hand so 650 multiplied by six months what he had in his hand it comes up to 3900 euros that's what you make in your hand close to 4000 euros you're making because you when you do a waiter job you also get paid tips and all that over the top which is never calculated by the end of six months 3900 euros that's what you're making so if you look at carefully now on one hand side you're paying money from your blocked account which is going outside and from the other side from your 
a waiter job you're throwing in the money you're collecting the money for next year i hope i did not confuse you guys but yeah this is the average pay usually you can expect to get uh, if you do this kind of job it totally depends on the kind of job i've seen some people getting paid 24 euros for an hour uh, like web designing like uh, artificial intelligence guys like digital uh, marketing guys so totally depends on how much are you getting per hour so if you guys want to know which websites to go and apply for part-time jobs make sure that you check my video about internship and part-time job which i've done some time back and go and check the description of that video all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video hit that thumbs up button and uh, i'll see you guys next time Bye bye